them. This is pickles, and you see. Well, anyway, it, this we had comes this, and I think my folks had that before 1900. Now, this is cut glass right here. Is it? Yes, this is cut glass. Oh, I didn't know. Uh, yeah, and uh, when <clears throat> they when they silver this, they have me to take this home because they don't want to be responsible for the well, cut glass. Well, has it got some something on it that? No, it has no signature on it that I can see. And these used to come in different colors. They're a little more valuable if this was a pink or rose color or some other uh, color, but this is oh. fine. <laughs> anyway, they were nice to put on the table, mm -hmm. and they had sugar spoons. Mm -hmm. You remember sugar spoons? Yes, I've got one of Grandma Brown's sugar spoons. <clears throat> Let's see. Oh, this is um, <clears throat> this was given to me. It was sent to you. Grandma Brown sent this to me, and she said. This came from Canada when Grandma Ernst, Grandma Brown, John Brown's mother, yeah. when she emigrated to the United States from Canada with her husband, Hold George. In front of the camera, mm -hmm. let us see it. Hold it up a little bit. There you go. Uh, this is a cut glass jelly dish. Grandma Brown said that she, her mother-in-law used this for jelly, and she brought this to the United States from Canada in 1881 or 1882. What and did you do with that thing that I found in the, in the chest? Looked like flowers painted on oh. velvet. All right. You want to see that? I have it right here. I'm glad you asked. Okay, hold this. Okay. I never knew of anybody that ever painted on velvet. Well, it used to be quite a fad. Well, to paint on velvet. this was about 1900, and my grandmother used to do that, but I, I never knew of anybody else. And all I know is I think this is one that she did. Painted. <coughs> She married a fellow named Ernst after her first husband, Brown, died. Oh, I see. Mm -hmm. I never knew my original grandfather. Mm. And I'm just, from what I've heard, I'm just as well pleased. <clears throat> I think so. Um. <clears throat> I think he was a rotten old drunkard, mean. I remember this candelabra. We had that. <clears throat> well, I think we put it on the big Pretty television nice. until Joanne gave us that clock. Mm -hmm. I don't know how many years we had that. Well, this you can you can turn this any way you want, but uh, mm -hmm. it's the seven candlesticks. So I I really wanted this. I like this. Who was that? This was Grandma Brown's. I don't know, but whether she might have gotten it from her mother, too. Really? I don't like know. From the <clears throat> well, okay. okay. And uh, this, you, I remember you have had this since I'm, I was, at least since I was five years old. I, I can remember. <laughs> yeah. No, no. Czechoslovakia? Probably it is. Mm -hmm. Now what you see, you show it to the camera. There. Now I'll have to focus on it too. Hold it up in front of you. No, he's yeah. fine. No, no, right there where he is. Uh, he'll, he'll do it to focus. Is that, uh, see that? Yeah. That, that, we've had that. Okay. I don't know how long. So many of these things I had, we've had so long that they just grew up with me. You, you may have had two of these, I'm not sure. 
it seems like you may have had one on each side of the fireplace over at Green Lake. That's where I remember it first, over at Green Lake, and I was about five. So hmm. you've, you've had this a long time. Mm -hmm. How about that cut glass pitcher? You know, that little pitcher, milk pitcher? I've got it in my china cabinet there. Do you know how long you've had that? No, I don't. Well, you want to go see it? You'd have to <coughs> Okay. And I didn't, this is press. Maybe that's press, guys. But you've had that forever. Oh, yeah. There was a lot of early American were, were press you, glass. That, uh, it, it, you could tell, you know. No, no, it's not cut glass like we think of, of the real heavy. Mm -hmm. No, it's sharp cut glass. But they did have a lot of this press glass. One well, of Mother's <coughs> wedding gifts was a beautiful plate, but it's press glass. But, mm -hmm. you know, when you pick it up and it's all shined and... Yeah. Rinsed this in ammonia water. <coughs> yeah, this one needs to be uh, cleaned up a little what bit. Became, oh, here it is. Here. <coughs> this is the cream whipper. Lois, did you ever see anything like this? You put the cream in there, it just goes into a, th this, uh, this a point goes into a little slot there. There it is. Boy, you could whip cream yeah. faster than you could say Jack Robertson. And if the cream won't whip any other way, this will whip. <coughs> this will always whip. That's what they say. Damn. <laughs> and they used to make margarine. Remember when they had oh, margarine yes. that wasn't colored? Yes. Now, another yes. thing I remember this from when I was five. Mm -hmm. They were used to make margarine and put the color in it color in this yeah. bowl mm -hmm. when I was real little, preschool. So they use this. We would have still might have been in it. You were. But your mother didn't want you to walk to Roosevelt School. You were school age. And uh, we moved back over there. She just didn't want you to walk that mile to school. We could have kept that house. I'll bet that house is worth a lot today. I but wanted to go to school so <laughs> bad over there. At where? Green Lake. I saw all the other children going off with yeah, their little sure with their did. little lunch boxes. I couldn't understand why your mother wouldn't. You just wouldn't want you to go to school. Gave up the house, lost everything, lost that. We lost that house. I wanted to go to school so bad. I used to stand at the window and cry, looking at, at all the children going to school with their little lunch boxes. I wanted mm -hmm. to go. I I think it would have been. It was terrible. We uh, we rented that house out for $35 a month, and the guy wouldn't buy it. We had about $3,000 equity, but we went over and we went up, the, up those steep steps, mm -hmm. and we paid $25 a month for that house for three years, and this other one went by the board. I finally gave my equity, whatever it was, several thousand dollars, for an old 1926 Hudson automobile, which I sold the following day for $150, and I was so glad to get it. <laughs> but you could you could have kept the Green Lake house if you'd wanted to then. If your mother had had uh, agreed, but nothing, she had to have you over at that other place to go to school. Oh, I she didn't did, know that. <clears throat> well, I did. <laughs> and I had to move over there, and uh, I thought you maybe had lost the house in 1929 no, or something. No, like no, that. not until way in the 30s, because oh. I kept it rented, and it was too bad. It was a lovely house, mm -hmm. and you wouldn't believe that that house, as nice as it was, we bought brand new, full basement, on the corner lot, with a garage. All for five thousand dollars. 